may panahon nga ako mag-auga sa akong pagsimba kanimo o Diyos ko kung akong hinumduman ang mga nabuhat mo dili ko makapugo pagkai kanimo
That's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 because this should be fresh on your mind. Okay, what was the story today? Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch. Good. Okay, what was the Bible verse for today? Does anybody know the Bible, the Bible verse for today? The eunuch did, eunuch did not see him.
had two sons of his own. One of those sons was named Jacob, and he was very sneezy. I mean, he was very sneaky. You see, even though they were twins, Jacob was born second, and that meant his brother would get a bird bite and mess it. Wait, that's weird. I meant to say his brother would get a birthright and a blessing, which was a special right and privilege given to the oldest son in the family. That didn't stop Jacob, however. He tricked his twin brother Esau out of his birthright inheritance and tricked their father Isaac into giving him a special blessing instead of his brother Esau. When Esau realized he had been tricked, he was very angry. He was so angry, in fact, that Jacob swam away from home. Wait, that doesn't sound right. He ran away from home. Jacob quickly left his home and made his way from Beersheba to Haran. This journey was about 500 miles and would take him many, many days to complete. While on his way, Jacob stopped to rest for the night. Since he forgot to pack his travel pillow, he found the nearest rock to lay his head on. Jacob didn't need to be rocked to sleep that night. He was a tired guy who quickly fell into a deep sleep and began to dream. Have you ever had a dream that seemed so colorful and so realistic that when you woke up, it felt like it really happened? Yeah. Well, that is exactly what happened to Jacob. That night, Jacob dreamed about stairs. That's right, he dreamed about the stairs. These weren't small stairs though. No, these were huge stairs. Imagine a huge ladder, bigger than you've ever seen, reaching from the ground all the way up to heaven. It was a stairway to heaven. On the ladder, Jacob saw God's angels going up and down from the earth to heaven. Suddenly, he saw God standing on the ladder. God spoke to Jacob and said, Hello, Jacob. I am the Lord, the God of your grandfather and the God of your father. I will give you and your family the land in the place where you are lying down. God went on to say that Jacob's children and their children would be destined. Oops. God actually said that they would be like the dust of the earth, spreading out everywhere. God promised to be with Jacob and his family and to never be. When Jacob awoke, he realized that God had been in that place with him, even though he didn't realize it at first. This place is awesome, he said. So Jacob took his special sleeping stone and changed it from a pillow to a pillar. He poured some oil on it and made the place Bethel, or God's house. Then Jacob made a promise to God, saying that if God protected him, gave him food and clothing, and a safe return home, then the Lord would not just be his father and grandfather's God, but the Lord would be his God too. You see, Jacob trusted God to go with him on his journey, and God was faithful to him. I know it may be hard to believe, but that's just how it happened. This is what trust looks like Going on to you for life and I Know everything will be alright This is what trust looks like When I feel like it and it I remember all your promises And I know everything will be alright That's why I won't make too much longer Jesus, Jesus